perfect prayer, number 134. If God bends an ear to your prattle, then who am I not to let you live a little longer and coax the love from you in occasional slow drops, floating through the tubes, resisting gravity until the last. And the milk-white snake glides down the leaves, fierce to reach the rocks and expire in the sun. Vermont Wedding. Dear old rust-blotched Volvo, groaning bravely beneath cycles swaying from the wreck, dancing through each turn, percolating up the stone-clad alley, ringed with red and yellow signs that warn of tumbling ice. Tubers root in the mellowing ground, inch up through the rewarming soil, unheralded, unnoticed. Trading in the economy of clipped speech, single words drawn from the well-guarded purse, one coin at a time. The groom peers at the fulsome May sky. The bride prepares to depart her sisters. Wow. Nice. Wow. Sojourn in booby flats. Thin lips brush the scar above my heart. My eyes undo the buttons of her thought. Drop softly to pale ankles, kicked aside, rustles across the warm, wide, honey planks. We kneel for one another in the late noon light, diffusing through the open casement. My daddy owns the ashram. The dark angels genuflect tip their wings in brooding salute to the old maker. Curtsies and sneers tossed to the light angels, milling about the heavens, attending the ancient one until he details his pleasure. The dark siblings, such evil born of one mother, awaiting messages from the carrier of light, mumbling a plan to unfurl the flag of pride and tumble grace from its throne. Thank you. Wow.